So I just pulled this sweater out of storage and I love it so much, except for that it's probably the most uncomfortable thing I own because it's all wool, so it's all scratchy. But also I think it's like super dusty. I feel like just such a dangus every time I do one of these intros. Hello, my name is Mary. Welcome back to Bell and Pomegranate. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming. Today we're going to talk about how to read your Bible, which seems maybe kind of a silly thing to say, but it's, let's hold this one up, it's more impressive. It's a pretty big book, and it can be very overwhelming, especially for a new Christian to know where to start. So that's what I want to talk about today is where to start, what to do, what are you doing? So uh, this is my Bible, my main go-to baby, and I love it so much. I'll put a link down below. I don't think you can buy this design anymore, but I just, I like the company a lot. You've got some maps in the back, 30 days with Jesus reading plan, and then it also has a one-year reading plan for reading the Bible. I should point out I haven't used either of these reading plans, but it's cool to have. So if you are new to the Bible, new to the faith, uh, first thing I'd recommend is getting a real Bible. I think it's super important to have your Bible. This is your sword. This is how you fight the good fight. And it's so important. It's neat. Um, I've been I've been with this Bible for over two years now. And it's just neat when I can think of a verse that I need. But I can't remember exactly where it is. But I can remember what side of the page it's on and what chapter or what book it's in. So then I can just go to the book and then I just look at that side of the page until I find the, the verse I'm looking for. Uh, you just get to know it really well. So I think it's very important to have a Bible that you get to know and that you love. And this is not a study Bible. It is just the word, which I, which I prefer. Um, but it helps that I've had a lot of good teaching so I can have just a regular Bible without a study Bible. Another good thing to have is a study Bible. This one was gifted to me by my dad and his girlfriend. Um, and it's a very nice study Bible. It's a big one, And it's just got um, diagrams. It's got information here. And then in the back it has maps. And I, I always really like this where you can look up words and then you can find what parts of the Bible talks about those words. So now that we've covered that you need a physical, real, actual book, I would recommend starting in the New Testament. Um, so the Bible is split up between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Oh, it's so itchy. But cute. I don't have highlighters. This is what I use. Oh, I can do the thing all YouTubers do. This is what I use. No, it doesn't really work. Anyway. This is what I use. Uh, they're Mr. Pen Bible Highlighters. I like them a lot. They also come with a mustache sticker, which my husband says is too hipster, but I like it. So there's something very satisfying about reading the Bible and then being like, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. And then you just highlight it and then it makes it so much easier to find later. Oh. Uh, so once you actually start reading the Bible, when you want to open it up, start in the New Testament. The New Testament is... Um, is the Jesus part. The Old Testament is the Jewish part, which is what Jesus studied. So it's also really important to know the Old Testament. It gives you a lot of context. It's what Jesus studied. It's what he knew and what he was teaching. Um, but the New Testament is the Jesus part. And as a new believer, the most important thing you can do is the most important thing as a new believer is to know the heart of Jesus. So I would start in the book of John. The New Testament starts with the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So John is the fourth of the Gospels. And then after John, I would read Acts because Acts is the beginning of the new church. And it just goes into uh, what went into making the new church. The, and there's no, this is all opinion. This is all my opinion and I don't know anything. So start with John, then go to Acts, and then I'd probably go back to like Matthew. I've been reading the Bible almost every day for two years, and how I read it is how I feel the Spirit leads me to read it. So it might be different for you as you're a new Christian. So I'd recommend getting to know Jesus. I'd recommend getting to know what 
the church was like when it was founded. Acts is a very powerful book. Um, my favorite books in the New Testament are actually Ephesians and Galatians. I really like the letters from Paul and instruction letters. I really like them and I read them often. As far as the Old Testament goes, I would start in Proverbs. There are 31 chapters in Proverbs and I would recommend just starting with number one and you can read one a day for a month. And I would recommend reading it like out of the New Testament if you're reading John, I'd recommend at least a chapter a day. And then I would also double down and read Proverbs too. So a chapter out of Proverbs, a chapter, chapter out of Proverbs, a chapter out of John. Um, and I think as a new believer, it is important to have a plan, have a reading plan. They're so easy to find. You can uh, get the YouVersion Bible app on your phone and they've got devotionals and reading plans. I recently tried to do a reading plan with my sister. I don't remember the name of it now. Tear up your Bible, I think. And it was super overwhelming. So just like look ahead and see if you can actually handle it because it's so easy to start a reading plan with the best intentions and then it gets way too overwhelming, way too much to read. And it's like a lot of flipping around and then you give up and then you, instead of just slowing down, you just stop reading your Bible altogether. And no one wants that up Satan. The last thing I'll say is it's super important to have somebody more mature than you in the Bible and in Christ. Uh, one of the things my old pastor used to say that I liked so much is that no matter where you are in your walk with Jesus, you should always have somebody discipling you and you should always be discipling somebody. So it just keeps you accountable and keeps people accountable and you're always growing, always learning, and always teaching what you're learning. So have somebody above you, somebody that can help you with questions that are inevitably going to come up because this is confusing. I'm just going to keep shaking it at you. Just read it. Read it. Listen, girls. You need to read your Bible. Hey, girls. You need to read your Bible. Just dust it off. Open it up. And start with John and just start reading. And you know what's also really good? Psalms. Psalms is nice. So Proverbs, Psalms, John, Acts. Just focus on those and then we can talk and then we can move on to something else. But read your Bible. So it's really cold today. Like five degrees with a wind chill of negative 30. And I've never been in negative degrees before and it's so cold. It's so cold. And the dogs are so annoyed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was a decent video because as I'm looking at it, yeah. Thanks for coming to my channel. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please comment on the video. Let me know if you have a prayer request, if you need a Bible, if you need, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Let's chat. And have a great day, and God bless you. Do you like my nails? Color Street. Check the link below. I have got to get out of this sweater. <laughs>